Hello all. So in order to create shared drives, in last video we installed iSCSI target server on our domain controller node. Also the communication between those shared drives should happen independently and for that we added NIC cards to each and every node. We also assigned separate IP address to those NIC cards. Now in this video we are going to actually create those shared drives. So these are the shared drives which we are going to create. So for that, I have also mentioned uh, what steps needs to be followed. So these are the steps we are going to follow. So let's open. So and as I said, we are going to create those shared drives on our domain controller node on this node. So let's start domain controller node first. Play. And let me go back to the steps. So in order to create those drives, we have to first open server manager. So as soon as I log in into my machine or virtual machine or that domain controller node, first thing will open is uh, by default is server manager and and left hand side to that I should find file storage services option. This options got available moment I installed iSCSI target server. All right. And uh, we also going to specify. So since we have to expose those drives to each uh, remaining two nodes, we need to add those uh, target uh, IP addresses. We'll see that. All right. All right, so let me log in and I'm logging in as a domain user. So this administrator is a domain user and P A W S password hash one, two, three. Perfect. Okay, as I said, server manager got opened and on left hand side, I should find file and storage services option. Okay, and uh, once we are there, uh, I should select, I'm supposed to select iSCSI, this option, and now I need to add, uh, go to the task and new SCSI, new iSCSI virtual disk. So task and new iSCSI virtual disk. And okay, this is my local machine and I will select next. And here I need to specify those disk names. So I will start with the quorum disk. Okay, and I will specify one gig. Okay, I have 85, 88, around 88 gig available. And next, and uh, iSCSI target. So I will select new target and I will give name as SQL cluster. All right, and I need to add those two nodes. So I'm going to expose those disks to remaining two nodes add IP address and second node is 20 perfect next uh, I will not select anything create okay so one disk got created and we can validate that so if I go to C drive see one drive got created of of one gig it's 4 mb but max size i have specified is one gig all right and let me go back and i will repeat the steps this step for remaining drives so next and so i need to specify two data drives uh, and that to a 5 gig each 5 next I am selecting same target uh, same target both these IP addresses next create 
close task new next 02 5 gig next it's dynamic expanding that's why over there it's showing in MB uh, create close new and log 0 and log 0 2 next next this is of 3 gig each next next 3 gig these two targets create close task new next 0 2 next over oh, here you can see that path okay next dynamically expanding and 3 gig next next create perfect and now last temp drive task new next uh, those are of 2 gig each next create perfect new 0 2 this is for second node next 2 gig next next create perfect okay so we can validate this so as you can see over here definitely you can see those let me maximize this over here definitely you can see those all those drives but uh, if I close this see on C drives I can see those drives so if I sort it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 drives okay now so what we have done so far is we have created those drives on our uh, domain controller node uh, we also added those drives target as these two nodes now in next video we are going to import those drives to both of these nodes and uh, we'll also format those drives we'll see that we'll also assign after formatting those we'll also assign the label to those drives but we'll see that in a next video thank you for watching this video